SPIN has been around for almost 30 years and over 106 uh, feature films and 17 television series. A few years ago, we knew we needed to revamp our pipeline. This wasn't going to be just a tweak. We're having multiple productions in at any given time with different requirements and we needed a pipeline that was going to be able to support that and, and also grow and, and change. For us, one of the things that made a Katana so attractive was the node-based nature of it. Being able to create templates, build effectively custom mini pipelines within your main pipeline gave us the flexibility that we were looking for. We were one of the first, you know, small companies to adopt Katana. There was some concern about our ability to, you know, knit it together and get it working. The work required to set things up really was not that significant. And for our lighting artists, all of whom have used other procedural 3D packages, um, they took to it like a duck to water. One of the shows we're working on right now is The Expanse. We worked on the first season and that became extremely popular. Out of the success of that, there was going to be a lot more challenging work that came up in season two. We needed to come up with a procedural pipeline um, in which we were able to have maybe one or two lighters work on hundreds of shots. Working in Katana, one of the most attractive things is working with graph state variables. It allows us to set up one shot and then use all that work in multiple other shots um, with literally just the change of switch. Any lighter within Katana can set that up very, very easily being able to handle a very large number of shots within one Katana file. Uh, from one scene file, they can light 10, 20, 100 shots. We've seen a, a tremendous increase in our productivity. One of the really great things about Katana is a deferred loading system. You never need a huge, huge environment to be open. Traditionally, when we were lighting and rendering out of Maya, there were real cases where we could take 40 minutes to load a scene file. Now the nice thing with Katana is it's never actually loaded into RAM unless you want to view a given piece of it. I think there is a common misconception that Katana is only used by large studios, the ILMs and Sony's, because they have a large number of TDs. And we're basically a medium-sized company. We deliver hundreds of shots. We work on 10 shows simultaneously. And that comes from using Katana. I actually really believe that Katana is a very, very good tool for especially a small-sized studio. Spin has always had a long history of choosing the right technology at the right time, which is probably why they've been around 30 years. And I think Katana is just one of those decisions. It was the best idea five years ago, and it still is today.